have a special delivery mission to bring Santa Claus into Winter Wonderland in downtown Kansas City. Pulling this off won't be easy. I don't know how well I can be heard. I'm getting kind of worried. So we are right now in the midst of getting Santa here. And where's Brittany? riding with us and taught me that if I go like this, the truck drivers will honk their air horn. Instantly, I was hooked. I did it over and over again while mom jumped from fright in the passengers. It became a game. And mom's jump at the sudden blast from the Iron Beast made it all the more fun to play. That's the first time I remember taking an interest in semi-trucks. And now, I'm the one honking, making some kids day. I guess that's what drives me to take this on. It's the kids that will be inspired when they see Santa pull up in the pink semi-truck. And that is priceless. Guys, we're turning this parking lot into a winter wonderland. They only had days, hours really, to build winter wonderland. Because we have this donation of material, okay. we're just sitting in Florida, okay. and they needed somebody who was trustworthy to bring it back here. Up there, they're gonna fly you out there to Tampa. They had a trailer full of vital supplies stuck in Florida. Meanwhile, I was stuck in the Midwest in the midst of the holiday shipping run. It never flew before. We're determined to make this happen. He flew across the country to get this trailer. Successful life, and I 
love her so much. In my life, I've made a lot of mistakes and I've burned a lot of bridges. I've spent the last year working hard to better myself and better be there for the world around me. Buzz off. Mother What are you It's a work in progress. But this year, with the help of my church, I have found a philosophy and a science of mind that has put me on the right path. And an essential part of that path is doing more for the community. If we wish to do well and want our families to do well, then it's essential that the community we live in do well. A few years ago, Jackie and her husband, Carlo, led this initiative to create a winter wonderland for the kids in downtown Kansas City. A place kids could come get gifts, free hot cocoa, make crafts, take pictures with Olaf, and of course, see Santa. Kids are the future of our communities. And today, there's nothing more important than inspiring them. Right now, Jordan's heading back from Florida, and I am on my last load before taking Santa to Winter Wonderland. Today, I just need everything to go smoothly. Cut! If you've seen my videos, you know this isn't gonna go well. Roll it in three, two, one. We're facing a late season severe weather outbreak, including the risk for tornadoes. And the target zone? You guessed it, my delivery location in Garden City, Kansas. Our vehicles keep cutting me off non-stop everywhere I go again dude this is a dock area how do you think your products get to the store they don't know the poor children and they get adamantly furious every time they see a trucker turning around in a dock talk about messed up I see that's messed up yeah, that's messed up. Just be thankful for the truckers that bring you food. That's what I gotta say. <sighs> well, <laughs> luck would have it, now my electronics. I couldn't get my mirrors to work. That was slowing me down turning around. And now the windows don't seem to want to roll up. That one does. This one don't. I took all the way across the state of Kansas and the rain, wind, and cold like that. from ending up in the telephone poles. Whoa! Oh, and a little dick food officially hit. The worst thing that could happen, we are in the middle of the storm. I don't know if this was a good decision. I was determined to make this happen. And I wasn't gonna let a window stop me. So I tore the door apart and set off to fix the window myself. I missed my calling. Merry Christmas. 
Today, we're on a special mission to bring Santa Claus to the kids at Winter Wonderland. Let's go. But I don't know how much fuel we got. Yesterday, it's a 200 miles of fuel. And today, I get out here, it's a zero. It literally says zero miles left on fuel. Zero. I don't know how I could have lost probably 70 gallons of fuel overnight just sitting on the curb. Happen, but I think somebody siphoned my tanks. Okay, so right now we are diverting to the TA. This is probably going to cost a fortune. So I'm going to pay full retail on fuel at the TA where I have no accounts, but it's the only way we're going to get Santa into Winter Wonderland. Come on, you can get. I know y'all, I'm an interesting spectacle. Uh, all right. We're Santa's little helpers, some might call us elves, but Santa's little helpers is what we call ourselves. I am the pink elf, getting ready to bring Santa to Winter Wonderland. Couldn't be here sooner. Holiday for family and friends. And we've got pine tree, pine cone, evergreen, mistletoe, candy cane, Santa Claus. A gingerbread woman and a gingerbread man in a gingerbread house. Oh, this is beautiful. You look gorgeous. Thank you. It's just around the corner. At first, we had to teach Santa how to safely get in and out of a semi truck. All right, so we'll start with a stable datum. These are your two lifelines when getting in and out of the truck. And because of that, you have to get in and out of the truck backwards. That's the biggest thing to remember. So you would get in, sit down, turn around backwards like this, have a firm grip, and then step down. And the reason these are so important, obviously if you fall, then you still got a grip. We call this three points of contact. Fireplace, sugar plum, jingle bells, and sense little helpers too. Christmas is just around the corner. Woohoo! Like a pro. <laughs> Perfect. Good pass. I'm not doing it. And we've got pine tree, pine cone, evergreen, mistletoe, candy canes, and the crawl. We gotta go. We got a show to go. Get, get in there. Woohoo! Let's go. How's it all? Christmas is just a I don't know how well I can be heard. 
I'm getting kind of worried. So we are right now in the midst of getting Santa here. We only have a little bit more time left. Brittany needs to get here as soon as possible because right now we're getting ready for Santa. And where's Brittany? He sent a picture, so the kids are waiting and excited. No boy, okay. So you're gonna get out of here. Don't my you pants text him. <laughs> There you see the pink semi turning onto Grand Boulevard. People are now honking as Santa waves out the window. It looks like they're causing quite a commotion in downtown Kansas City. Santa is now exiting the vehicle. And there you see Brittany greeting everyone as she enters Winter Wonderland. Okay, it looks great. Hello, hello, hello! <laughs> Two, three. Yay! 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 